What's up guys, it's Landon back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn on your mobile hotspot with unlimited data on your Galaxy S8. Now you may have already seen my previous video where I showed you how to do this on a Galaxy S7 but with the recent Nougat update and the update to the Galaxy S8 they actually figured out a way to block that specific method but I'm here to show you a completely new one and as you can see I have my mobile hotspot on it's up and running I have my laptop connected and zero issues Wi-Fi is not on it's running off of data but um, let's go ahead and get started so first of all I just want to show you that this really does work with unlimited data my plan ends June 30th as you can see it's June 29th and I've used 107 gigabytes of mobile data now most of this is actually from my hotspot and you'll be able to use this much too but I want to go ahead and clear this up this does not give you unlimited data unless you already have unlimited data um, on my previous video, a lot of people were asking if this allowed them to tether unlimited with unlimited data even though they had limited data plans. That is not what this is for. This simply allows you to turn on your hotspot that would normally be blocked if you already have unlimited dot data. But with that in mind, let me go ahead and show you what you're going to need. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need Package Disabler Pro. Now this was in my previous video, but um, download this. You have to buy it, but you can try it and get your money back because they offer refunds um, in the first um, you know, small amount of time that you use it. So if it doesn't work with your phone, you can just get a refund. But I highly recommend this app if you have a Galaxy S7 or S8 anyways. It allows you to disable a ton of bloatware that you wouldn't need. But um, after you download Package Disabler Pro, search for Tether, and then disable all three of these that pop up. You need to disable com.qualcom.qti.tether service, tethering automation, and tethering provision. Previously, you just needed to disable tethering provision, but disable all three of these from this method that I'm about to show you to work. So after you did that, the second thing you're going to need, and I need to clear this up too, is a Wi-Fi network and I know that you're probably thinking hey why do I need a Wi-Fi network if I'm turning on my hotspot if I already have Wi-Fi why would I need my hotspot but that is not the same thing the Wi-Fi network doesn't have to have internet access and I'm about to show you so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my Wi-Fi I'm gonna go ahead and turn my turn off my hotspot so I can show you this but um, I turned on my Wi-Fi and the router that we have connected at my house is not connected to internet right now but what you need to do is you need to find a Wi-Fi network. It can be another friend's phone. It can be a Chromecast. Uh, see my previous video. I'll show you how to do that. Link in the uh, link is in the description. But um, any Wi-Fi network, even if it's not connected to internet, use that. And so what you need to do once you have your Wi-Fi network is try and connect to it, but purposely put in the wrong password. So I'm going to forget this real quick. So as you can see, the password is wrong. Um, but you need to just just random digits just put in just a completely wrong password and hit connect and what it's gonna do is it's gonna remember that wrong password anyways and every time it tries to connect to this Wi-Fi it's gonna fail but what you can do is you can keep attempting to connect to it and it'll still do this no matter what it'll never forget that wrong password that you put in so what you need to do and you have to be really quick is you have to quickly tap it and then you have to go back and you have to go to mobile hotspot and tethering and turn on your hotspot and before it finishes connecting turn off your Wi-Fi now I know that that sounds like a lot but that's the way that you have to do it because if you simply connect to the network without putting in the wrong password once it fully connects they updated the mobile hotspot app so that it knows whether or not you're connected to Wi-Fi and will disable it your hotspot anyways when you disconnect from Wi-Fi even if you disabled all of those packages now I know that I'm talking really fast but um, it's also just because you have to be really quick but what I would rec recommend doing is I would um, add the mobile hotspot widget or whatever you call it the button to your quick buttons your quick toggles at the top add it there and then all you have to do is quickly turn on your Wi-Fi right after it turns on wait just a second and turn on your mobile hotspot using this quick tab and once it turns on turn off your Wi-Fi quick easy way to do it and it stays on after that now you have to remember to do it in that order so I know that it's it's kind of a pain to find a Wi-Fi network but this is the only method that I've been able to find that works and it does work and it works perfectly so make sure you download package disabler make sure you disable these three um, packages and then make sure you find a Wi-Fi network purposely put in the wrong password 
and then all you have to do is try and connect to it while it's connecting turn on your hotspot and then after your hotspot is turned on then turn off your Wi-Fi and again I know that sounds like a lot but with practice it's it's easy and it's actually easier in my opinion than the previous method because the method with the S7 you had to fully connect to a Wi-Fi network in order for this to work actually I take that back I think this works on the S7 as well so if you want to do this instead of dealing with the Chromecast and everything like that which you can still use the Chromecast with this because you have to have a Wi-Fi network anyways then um, I would recommend this method um, but I hope this helps you. I certainly use this all the time, and I've had uh, tons of different people request this video, and um, I'm happy that I just finally figured this out because I use this hotspot all the time. And it's great, I'm telling you, like I use over hundreds, hundreds of gigabytes each month. AT&T has never said anything. They haven't said, n I mean, it's been over a year since I've been tethering. So I, I mean, I highly doubt you're going to get, you know, a notice from AT&T. But uh, if you want to be on the safe side, I recommend a VPN just like I did in my previous video. You can use BetterNet. Um, I have BetterNet right here. You just download BetterNet and you can connect. It's free. Um, but you probably don't really need it. But uh, that concludes this video. I hope that helped you. Sorry I've been rambling on so long. But uh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, then you can hit that dislike button. But if uh, you love this video, then go ahead and subscribe. I have several other videos that I've release dealing with tutorials of all sorts. You can beta test products, link in the description as well, completely free. You get to keep the products and stuff as well. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.